my entire life has benefited from college. I don't see any aspect that hasn't been affected. I think I have more confidence in my whole entire life because I know that I've done something that was really difficult at the time and really pushed through and tested myself and grew from it so much. Not only having a degree in hand, but also learning more about myself and who I am. I'm not the same person that I was in high school. It just made me who I am and I found my identity. I found out what I wanted to do. I would have never known that I loved being involved with the school. You're in this new community where you really gain a sense of who you are and where you fit in. Just expanding my mind, becoming more tolerant, more aware of diversity and more accepting, I think, and I can really see a difference between um, how I was then and how I am now because of that college-going experience. And I started meeting people that had the same interests that I did, and I started learning more and more and digging deeper into things, and I felt for the first time that I was starting to learn how our world worked, and I felt like I had a place in it. Along the way, I'm learning something new every day about me, about the way I get things done, about the world, about what I'm going to do in this world and my involvement. Nothing replaces what I get out of walking out of a class that was really inspiring. The, the longer I went to school, the more I, I gained confidence in myself and realized that I was smart and that I could do this and that I could make a better life for my family and for my children. The most important factors for me personally attending college are gaining those relationships that I need to further my career. Having your high school education just limits you in what you can do. Whenever you have your college education, you know, I, I could go to New York, I can go to Florida, I could go to California or wherever and look for communication jobs. I have tools now to fight my own fears. It makes me an adult. It makes me what is, it makes me realize what life is all about. Knowing that I'm graduating in May and that I'll have this degree finally, that it makes me feel so happy that I don't have to go through what my mom has had to go through. I don't have to come home exhausted, hating my job at the end of the day. I can come home and feel good about my career, about all the work that I've done, all the work that I will do. Having that involvement and feeling that community with other students, to feel like you're part of something, you're really integrated into a community. Um, so I always would recommend for students to be involved in something. Definitely get involved in extracurricular activities. Sports is huge. Sports for, for many reasons. Um, I mean, even down to helping you with your interpersonal skills, being able to talk to somebody confidently, giving them a good grip you know, or a good handshake, a firm handshake, you know, that says a lot about a person. So I ran track and played soccer, and I think that those things gave me confidence in my schoolwork and also with like clubs and things. Like I did a few clubs in high school and you just build relationships with teachers through that. I was in a lot of leadership groups and I did a lot of volunteer uh, work while I was in high school. I enrolled to different clubs. I enrolled to the drama club, I enrolled to the Spanish club because I didn't, I wanted to meet some people that like my culture a little bit. I also performed in theater. Theater is a great way for, especially I think, females to really gain a sense of confidence. I was a band nerd, a jock, a technology geek. Like, I had a broad base of friends and a support network. Taking AP concurrent enrollment and honors classes really did help me. Being involved in student government my senior year of high school definitely prepared me to go to college. If you find something that you're passionate about, do that. Every little aspect of it and become an expert before you even go to college. You know, whether that's fashion or being a vet or a lawyer or, you know, wanting to go international, go have those experiences in life and sign up for everything and anything you can that will help you achieve that. And always play to your strengths. Don't play to your weaknesses, but do something that you're really strong and passionate about. And then life is fun, it's interesting, and you can go and be successful in life.
Since I've been here, everything has changed. I've become very involved not only in just my education and my classes, but also in extracurriculars. I'm the president of a club, Animal Allies Club, on campus. I found um, UV Review, student newspaper at UVU. That's where I really found my fit and got into the swing of things and really got a passion for um, what I was studying in school. I am taking classes for fun, which is something that I never thought that I would do, but I've really grown since hitting college and it's changed my life. If you're not willing to meet other people that have the same goal, you're not gonna have that full experience. I joined the Peace and Justice Club and then I became the president of the Peace and Justice Club and I've been an intern and I've been in so many amazing groups. I've met the most amazing people. I've been able to do some research thanks to some awesome faculty here. And I've been able to go to like Chicago, Philly, Portland and to just present and none of that was a cent out of my pocket. It was, we were able to get funding from the university. I've been able to dance here which keeps me sane and I've been able to travel with the dance team at the university twice all around through Europe. Yeah, I love to perform and sing and there's been so many opportunities. I did a pageant. I would have never done a pageant and I won and it was the craziest thing ever. And I don't think I would have had that opportunity if I wouldn't have just realized the importance of education, moved away, and figured it out. The habits you develop today will carry on for the rest of your life. If you don't have that central focus on education and, and the end of the year as opposed to the end of this period, then you're not going to end up where you want to be. To take the right classes, their, their English, their math, oh my gosh, I had to take remedial math, I'm part of that statistic, and please girls, take math. Pay attention in your classes, really realize that those teachers are there to educate you. They're there to teach you and help you learn and help you apply everything that you learn in the classroom. Knowing that you're not alone in the process and that people are there to support you with your success um, is definitely something that I want young women to know. But it's really important just to keep your spirits up, get involved, and never give up. There's nothing more freeing than knowledge. And if you want to be able to make your own decisions and you want to take control of your life, then I think the best thing you can do is to get an education.